good? Yep. All right, well, today I'd like to talk to everybody just for a couple minutes about time management. Um, does anyone, everyone close your eyes for one second and think about something that you would like to do every day, but you never have time to do. Y'all got it? All right. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could do that every day? One of the main things that keeps us from being able to do what we would like to do is that at the end of every day, we're always trying to rush up to get something done, or we haven't finished what we need to get done for the day. So it keeps us from enjoying our evening. Well, I'm married. I have a full-time job, and I go to school full-time. So I have a lot on my plate. But every night, I like to spend some quality time with my family, whether it's having a dinner or a movie or playing video games for a couple hours. So it takes a lot of planning to be able to get those things done. So I'm going to here share with you a couple of points about time management and things that you can do to help get things going. The first point, the first step to time management is to uh, plan your day. So you've got to sit down and you've got to take the time to plan out every minute of the day. Okay? And that starts from you plan what you have to do, you plan, uh, the, you plan your breaks, you plan uh, time for stuff to happen for mistakes that come up, um, and you go through your day and you write out everything that you need to get done for the day. Then you prioritize what you need to get done and in what order. So the important things you get done first and so on and so forth. And if you do this in a very detailed way, even though it feels like you're wasting a whole bunch of time planning, in the long run you'll save time by getting things done. And the next part of the plan is to ask yourself, you know, at the end of every day, am I getting everything done that I need to get done? Or am I cramming to get stuff accomplished? Am I not being able to get done what I need to get done? And if the answer is yes, then you're in need for time management techniques. After you've planned out your entire day and you've taken care of everything, given yourself time for any mistakes that may come up or uh, combining all of your jobs into one if you're going to go to the doctor and then you've got to go to the gym and then you need to go shopping instead of taking three individual trips you take one trip and you bring your gym clothes with you and you go to the doctor's office and then you go to the gym and on the way home from the gym you go and stop by the store I always had a problem forgetting every time I'd come to work and uh, my wife would call me to ask me to pick up medication for her and I'd always forget and I'd get home and I'd be just unwinding and sitting down to do something and she'd say where's my medication I have to come all the way back to the pharmacy which is at my work <laughs> and pick up the medication and go all the way back home a whole extra trip wasted gas wasted money a lot of wasted time so if you combine all your jobs into as few trips as possible you can help save time so the last step is to make sure that you follow through on your plan once you get your schedule set and you know what you need to do and in what order you need to do it, then you've got to stick to your plan. If you're doing a job and you run out of your planned time for that job, instead of running over into the next thing, you just stop what you're doing, you finish that job, you move on to the next one, and you start working on the next one, and you stay in your schedule. At the end of the day, if you have time left over, you come back and you do what you've missed for that day in those specific jobs. So, the basic moral of the story is, that to get everything done that you need to get done or you want to get done, you've always got to make sure that you plan ahead of time, make a schedule, and uh, stick to the plan to get it done. All right.